this of featherweight amateur K1 rules bout. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner from the Nam Yang Kung Fu Academy, making his debut this evening, it's Finley. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to LFC, and we kick things off tonight with an amateur K-1 contest out of the blue corner. Eric Silver from Team Vengeance taking on his opponent in the red, Finlay Ladder from the Nam Yang Kung Fu Academy. And already, Dean, things heating up here in Kent. Looking great so far as Eric goes to the mat there. Both these young fighters coming out with some good aggression, Chris, standing toe-to-toe, -to -toe, gauging their distance in this early round. And I love how Silver's going to the inside leg from that orthodox stance against a southpaw fighter, but the Nam Yang fighter counters with some good boxing. Big looping left hooks there. And the young Silva, whose brother here, Vitor, shouting instructions. Vitor fighting in the main event tonight. A fighting family indeed, Dean. They always come to bring it, and his younger brother here, He's doing well, nice slip there. Let's see some head movement. I'm just about to sound. Let's see some more head movement and footwork from these young fighters. Night, oh, a bit low there. Turning back kick, just missed his mark. And a referee in charge, Andrew Nichols, will give him a little bit of time to recover, up to five minutes here. And that looked to me like it was completely unintentional, Dean, but obviously an inadvertent effect of the combat sports when you're trading low kicks, often low, like you said, to the legs, to the midsection. Things like this can happen, can't they? Particularly with the turning back kick, as there's, there's a moment in time where you take your eyes off your opponent, turn around, fire that kick out. Unfortunately, it went low on this occasion. We'll give him a bit of time here to recover. Doesn't seem too bad. Silver's older brother there. Give him some advice in this break. Perhaps that could be advantageous in this fight, Chris. Absolutely. You know, and both fighters, as we saw, were very eager to engage. Neither backing down, both expending a ton of energy, but the crowd showing tons of support. Great atmosphere, as always, in the LFC team. Excellent audience, always come to bring it and watching the UFC, cheering this fighter on. And he's ready, he's just giving the referee the nod. And you know, Finley Ladder's been training martial arts his whole life. I think he started Kung Fu at four years of age. But it's that Sanda background in the, in the academy that is really use, useful for K1 rules, Dean, isn't it? It's very true. The style mixes it up with the, with the punches and the kicks. They're quite, from the range, they work really well. As, as of yet, these, these fighters seem to be a bit eager to get the job done. Perhaps they need to come back and utilize those skills at range. And like you said, exchanging in the pocket, really, thus far in this fight, but what a double kick and a clash and a spinning back fist attempt from Silva. Man, that guy has got some real fire underneath his feet, Dean. Again, Silva smells some blood there. Nice, I like the way Finley here. He's gauging his distance much more. 
smart, smarter fighter in this later part of this round after that low blow. Oh, Superman punch from Silva, eats the jab. And Silva, a real wild man, gaining that reputation, as we said, from Team Vengeance. Nice low kick by Finney, that's very good. I'd like to see him couple up with some combinations upstairs after he goes downstairs, Chris. And you know, the way that I liked that setup was the fact that he timed when Silva was gonna be a little bit heavy on that lead leg team. He had sussed out exactly when the optimum time was to throw that right round kick. That was one of the best strikes of the round for the young man. Almost certainly, he's definitely seen that Silva likes to plant his feet, throw powerful shots, and he's trying to take the sting from tapping on that back leg. With the roar of the crowd behind them, here in Kent, these two young men continuing to duke it out, Dean, and what's been a thrilling K1 amateur matchup so far. Nice leg kicks off the back there by Finley Latter. Oh, what a nice punch there. He's coming in, he's really making use of these combinations, chasing down his opponent. And Silva, big brothers into the floor. That won't score. Can get a little bit of a warning from our head referee, Andrew Nichols. And Silva counters with a nice low kick from the lead leg and then returns. Again, stepping into a right round kick now twice. But, ooh, man, that one I think really hurt Finlay. Crack into the body. You can see now with his mouth open, breathing very hard, Dean. Those type of shots can take away your cardio real quick. They force the air out of your stomach, your lungs force to breathe hard. And we all know, Chris, the lungs supply the, the muscles with oxygen that enable you to fight. I particularly like how Silva comes out with his hands up. He always throws with his hands up. If you watch, he's very careful. There we go, hands back up again. He's really diligently aware of return strikes. And Finlay had a count there, which is huge. If you think about how that first round may have gone. Wow, look at the way that Silva throws him off. Possibly a strength advantage for the young fighter from Team Vengeance. Throws to his point. corner. Yeah, interesting. He's so calm in there as a young fighter to look to his brother, give me some advice, brother, and then utilizes it in the cage. Again, Silva with those haymakers from the right hand. But breathing very, very hard now is the young man from Brazil. Another low blow there, skimming the groin of his opponent, Finley Ladder. And again, I think completely unintentional, Dean, but when you find that much intensity, throwing that much vigor into the stand-up exchanges, these types of things can just happen. And possibly an advantage, though, for Silva to get a breather here. He's got to be careful, though, Chris, because he could get deducted a point. He could be up on the scorecards at this present time and could go down and, and actually give the fight away in the end. And Finlay still taking a breather here. Silva, as we said, taking advantage, but arguably Silva with the advantage with that count we just had, Dean, in the round. Silva did seem to, he's breathing still a little bit heavy, actually, those mouth guards. I'm wondering about the mouth guards, because if you see his mouth guard there, I don't know if you can see that on the DVD. It, and it really takes up a lot of space in your mouth and makes it harder to breathe. So, and when a fighter opens his bottom of his jaw, opens his mouth, it's going to make, make him more susceptible to knockout. So I wonder about these mouth guards, to be fair, with regards to regaining that oxygen jet debt that you've lost in fighting. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't have a custom-made one from your dentist, go and get it. Best investment ever. But... We're back on the way here, and a nice couple of right round kicks from Finlay. He looks very well recovered indeed, Dean. I like that probing jab, need to see more of that. Nice little check from Finlay ladder. But Silva just chucking everything but the kitchen sink, Dean. I think those body shots are definitely hurting Finlay. Silva's, Silva's gonna be more beneficial to go to that body. Mix up the shots upstairs, pull the guard up of Finlay, and then blast in a heavy kick to his body. But Silva very happy to box there in that final exchange is gasping for air as he moves back to his corner. Also the Nam Yang team urging their fighter to his feet. I think this round, this final round, Dean, might be decided by who can recover the best and come out with the best pace. And as you said, volume. It's going to be down to who can push the volume of the punches, like you say. Punches in bunches, mix up the shots. I don't think these guys have got the crazy pace they have, almost certainly looking at Finley there in the corner. They're not going to have the crazy pace they come up. They've got to fight smart, it's more technical, land the shots, gain the points, and gain the favor of the judges. So, third and final round, two more minutes here. K1 rules, and Andrew Nichols resumes the action. 
It's Ladder taking on Silva. Ladder comes out with some good leg kicks there. And some dirty boxing from Vitor Silva. You gotta be very careful about excessive clinching. And I'm not sure if he's looking for that back fist again, Dean. I think he's smelt better power. When he connected before earlier in the fight with Ladder. Oh! Nice right hook there on the inside. That made Silva think and he actually backed up there. Spinning back fist again. He's really found a home for that spinning back fist. He gauges the distance quite well. Usually throws his lead head out, then spins around. Way nice touch there. Good footwork by Silva. Yeah, very nice. And I like how he circled away. He knew he was running out of space. Like I'm fighting in a fairly small ring here tonight. And again, K1 in a cage so much different than in the ropes, Dean. That's very true. You can back your opponent up to the cage. He's not going to go anywhere. He's going to bounce back to you from far off shots, far off kicks. And Silva looking to land a couple of home run punches here. The clock running out. LFC third round in regulation time and the crowd just loving it here, Dean. Lovely kicks from Silva there. Let's see him go upstairs and downstairs a little bit more. At least really cement his legacy in the judges' eyes. Man, thundering right round kick. Again though, another low blow. Nichols says no. He says carry on, yep. And Finlay bites down at his mouthpiece and charges forward. Switch kick to the body from Finlay lands. This corner screaming for him to come forward, Dean. Again, nice left kick. Finlay has good success when he couples those kicks with aggression. What I mean by that, Chris, is controlled aggression. Big shots on the outside, exactly what he does there. And Silva quite rightly circles out. And <laughs> man, this has got to be one of the most enthusiastic performances from two youngsters I've seen in a long time, Dean. And the audience, as I said, the crowd just feeding on that energy here at LFC. Behind these fighters, 100%, quite rightly so, with a beautiful spinning back fist there by Silva. And the wow. crowd goes wild as the horn sounds. Ladies and gentlemen, what a thrilling affair. I gotta be honest, Dean, those six minutes, it felt like 30. <laughs> yeah, pleasurable 30 minutes to watch these guys, young fighters, like you said before, amazing technique, amazing skill, and good tactics also.